Hey everyone, Paul here at Expert Investor Academy and today we're going to talk about the 80-20 rule and the magic that we get from it, otherwise known as the Pareto Principle. A few years ago I got into uh, land development and it really wasn't because it was uh, the best, uh, most profitable thing out there. It's actually a massive amount of work and it was a huge learning curve for me. Uh, uh, and I'll tell you why uh, the, the, we got into it. We uh, uh, at the time, this was like 2018, you know, we were doing really well with our portfolio, uh, but we were feeling overwhelmed. And not in the sense that we had too much work, but we didn't know where to go, we were confused. You know, we had, we, we've been doing single families, duplexes, triplexes, multifamily in general, big and small, duplex conversions, triplex conversions. Uh, um, we had done multiple Burr type investments. We had international uh, Airbnb investments outside the country. Um, what else? What, what am I missing here? Student rentals, all kinds of stuff. And we were confused about what to do next. Each and every one of those sub strategies, if you want to call them, that had their own advantages and disadvantages. And I, I, I was kind of racking my brain about this. And it, it, uh, as a family, also, we, we didn't know what to do. So I approached my coach. And side note, the best investors I know and the best business people I know, the most successful, all have coaches. So if you don't have one, you gotta get one, okay? You gotta get one. That's not a self-proclamation, it's a truth for me. Anyhow, I approached my coach and he pointed me to this, 80-20 rule. And what that means is we have to look deep into our portfolio to see which pieces were giving us the most results and which pieces were not. Okay, so if you don't know what the 80 20 rule means, it means 20% of everything you do delivers 80% of your results. And 80% of what you're doing is only giving you 20% of your results. So we had to look into our portfolio, into our real estate investment business, and figure out what were the vital few. What were the vital few pieces that were giving us big results? Okay, and once we figured those out, the rest became what we call the trivial many. The stuff that we're doing that's good, but not getting us tremendous results. So we can skip that and concentrate here to do more of what we already do. Make sense? Because if, if you know exactly what these vital few are, the ones that give you the, 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 the actions, the uh, uh, business processes, the type of investments that give you the most ROI or the most, the most personal benefit, you can concentrate on those and discard the rest. So that's the exercise we went through. And it took a few months. You know, sometimes we were scattered and disorganized, but when we really got down and focused on it, it took a couple months and we figured it out. We figured it out. To, for us, we found that the most uh, success we had, the most personal gain we got from our investments, the most profit we got were when we were solving the biggest problems. Okay, we, we figured out that the, the, the more passive we were in our investments, the more bored we were. The more boredom we got, the less uh, personal achievement we felt from it, and the more we got our hands dirty, the better we felt, and the more profit we got. So we figured out what our vital few was. And our plan was not to do more renovations because yes, you can get your hands dirty with renovations and increase the value, but uh, 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 we decided to go into development because there were less competitors there and we had the money to do it. So we thought, why not? We got the opportunity, we had the money, it was right in front of us. Everything kind of clicked and that's where we went. So uh, this became, uh, an, uh, this principle once applied uh, became a real game changer for us. Okay, so I, I, I wanna teach it to you and I took some notes here, one second, because I never memorized everything. Uh, yeah, we already talked about it. So the most good things happen because of a few, the vital few, and the most of it we can discard become the trivial many. So the part I wanna bring to you that I can't always memorize is based on that, your nine word theme, nine words has to be, 
Let me write this bigger for you guys. Cut the many. Feed the few. And starve the evil. Okay? Think about that for a second. If we can do this and especially this you're going to have a lot more time and a lot more energy to concentrate on the stuff that's bringing you the best results so let me give you some examples i'm holding pens here okay cutting the many so if you're a real estate investor uh you might be uh door knocking looking for deals and for some of you that might work tremendously but if you've been door knocking 10 times or you've been distributing flyers to 10 different neighborhoods or you've been concentrating on the same neighborhood for six months, 12 months, 18 months, and you're not getting results. Guess what? Time to cut the many. Time to cut the many. That's one of those things. One of those ones that goes in the category saying, I tried it. Doesn't work. Let's go back to the few things that have worked for you. If Working with a realtor, I know, has worked for you, then go and do it. If it hasn't, then it has to go in the cut the many box and, and uh, uh, we're gonna focus elsewhere. If using social media to get deals has been profitable for you in the past, well, why aren't you doing more of it? So really what you wanna do is get a piece of paper and make three columns and really just Mark down all the physical exercises, all the planning, all the stuff that you do to grow your business and put it into these categories. And you're gonna see exactly which few exercises, which few pieces that you need to feed, okay? And starving the evil, this is the easy one. For me, it's social media. Spend too much time on Facebook, Instagram, and whatever else I'm doing, okay? For some people, it might be talking on the phone. For some other people, it might be working out. Believe it or not, some people are gym rats and they don't leave because they think they're doing something uh, good for their bodies. But meanwhile, they're missing out on their business or their family. Uh, I'm not saying that's you, but I know a few people. So you gotta be honest with yourself here to starve the evil, okay? Because there are things that you're doing and we're all guilty of it, even though we have big results, we're all guilty of having a few things that um, don't work for us, okay? And this can go, this conversation can go in multiple different directions from here, but I wanna keep it here. 80-20, 80% of what you do is only getting you 20% of your results. 20% of what you do is responsible for 80% of your results. What we wanna do is find out what these vital few things are and concentrate on them to get more big results. Okay, we wanna cut out all the trivial many. And if you don't know how to do this, get on a piece of paper, make three columns. First column, cut the many. Second column, feed the few. Third column, starve the evil. Go through everything you do in your business. Every exercise, every process, every action you take and put them in the respective columns. And please be honest with yourself. Because if you're not honest with yourself, uh, uh, no one else is gonna be. And if you need guidance on this and you want to get to where you want to go a hell of a lot faster, hire a coach, okay? Hire a coach. I coach. I charge a lot. I'm sorry. Uh, 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 my people get results, okay? If you're interested in that, shoot me an email. But I, 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 you can avoid it. Do this and you're going to have fantastic results in the next couple of years if you stick to it. Find those few jump on them, big results. Talk later.